a nice Sunday, I thought I'd go for a walk in the Sydney Botanical Gardens. Hi, it's Will. You're watching the Innovout channel. Today I'm talking about mechatronic engineering, which is what I studied at university. Now, the first response that I usually hear when people ask me what I do, and I say mechatronic engineering, is what the heck is that? Even my employer, my current employer where I'm working at the moment, when I said that I did mechatronic engineering, they brought me in for an interview and they said, so what is mechatronic engineering? That's amazing. Now it's a very basic description of mechatronic engineering. It can be described as the study of robotics. I am qualified to make robots. If you're thinking of studying mechatronic engineering, I would highly advise it. It's an excellent branch of engineering and you get a really broad view of kind of all the types of engineering. Well, except for civil. Depending on where you go, uh, the course may be structured differently. Where I went at UTS, it was maybe 60% or so mechanical, maybe 10 to 15% software, 10 to 15% electrical engineering, and a further 10, 10 to 15% was robotics. Plants are getting watered around me. I hope I don't get wet. Depending on who you are, you may specialize. You may actually find that you're better at electrical engineering side of things or mechanical engineering side of things. I preferred the mechanical and to an extent the programming. A friend of mine used to work at the Botanical Garden several years ago. I wonder if he still works here. Now you're going to have to pick a specific university to go to. In Sydney you've got a bit of a choice. You've got, you know, University of Sydney, UTS, UNSW. I do think UTS was an excellent university to go to. Um, it, University of Technology, they had a distinct lack of power outlets, which was kind of annoying, but eh, you learn to get over it. Although they have made a lot of advancements recently. They built a couple of new buildings, an amazing library. This place is massive. One thing I would like to advise is to be careful of the electives that you choose. You want to make sure that they want to complement the course that you're doing and where you want to go after you finish your degree. In my case, I looked back in retrospect and I kind of wished that I'd done more in the way of programming. So C++ or C, that sort of thing. That being said, I do think I picked some good electives, even though I didn't quite put any thought into why I was picking them. I don't say this about trees very much, but that is a cool tree. Of course, another thing you want to think about before taking up engineering is why do you want to take up engineering? What is it that you want to get out of this course? Where do you want to go? Do you want to work at Google? Do you want to work as an engineer somewhere? Do you even need the degree to be able to go where you want to go? Or is this just like with me? I didn't know where I wanted to go, so I went with what felt fun and what I enjoyed doing but also what I was good at. In which case you've also got to think about your major. Is mechatronic engineering the best for you? Or do you want to go with straight up electrical or programming software or mechanical, civil? You know, there are so many different styles of engineering. You do need to, tr unfortunately, you do need to try and narrow it down to one. If you don't know which sort of engineering you want to go into or which sort of, you know, stream of sciences that you want to go into, you know, general is okay, but it doesn't allow you to have any sort of end goal. One of the best things about mechatronic engineering is that it is so broad and so general. It allows you to learn so much about so many different topics, so that once you've finished your degree, you are very employable, and you can work in a variety of industries. For example, by having that mechanical engineering knowledge and software and all of that sort of thing, an electrical engineering knowledge, well, in my case, not so much electrical engineering, I wasn't that good at it. But by having all of these different streams, it means that you can, you don't have to go into a specifically mechatronic engineering. You can go into systems engineering. You can also go into 
mechanical engineering, straight up mechanical, or you can go into straight up software, or if you're okay at electrical, you can go in straight up electrical engineering as well. I mean, you won't be the best in these fields compared to engineers that have gone through a direct degree that is electrical engineering or is mechanical engineering, but you could use this to your advantage in that you can see outside of straight mechanical engineering or straight electrical engineering. You can see other components and you can see where what you are doing interacts with other people. So if you're thinking of getting into mechatronic engineering or any sort of engineering, I would thoroughly recommend it. Go for it. And if you're ever in Sydney, take a walk through the Sydney Botanical Gardens. It is beautiful out here. If you've completed a course in mechatronic engineering or any sort of engineering, share your experiences with us. Leave a comment in the comments section below. Hit the like button and subscribe if you can. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.